Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, September 20th, 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so we are coming off of that lunar eclipse still, which was on Friday, uh, which was really emphasizing the importance of acceptance in our lives. And it's making this a very transformational month here in September, which is about uh, changing, you know, and, and seeing things in a new way. And I think a lot of that had to do with how we do sometimes need to have acceptance and to detach a bit in life in order to have peace, tranquility, and really a spiritual connection to life in and of itself. So anyways, with that uh, lunar eclipse, things are still very much about that change this whole month of September because we are in that uh, lunar eclipse cycle. But uh, the moon is going to be in Aries here today as she was yesterday, which is emphasizing the importance of our independence in life. So I think it's a great day for focusing on that independence, see where we can move things forward. Uh, maybe it's physically, you know, quite literally through exercise and things like that. Uh, maybe with our goals, our ambitions, our drives, uh, maybe with our personal needs and our relationships, these kinds of things. But uh, finding the middle path with this and seeing that, of course, it is so important to have healthy independence in our lives. Then the moon does shift into Taurus the second half. And so particularly over the evening time, we do have this sensual nature about things. The moon in Taurus is actually exalted and it's about connecting to Mother Earth and everything that she provides. You know, so much is provided by Mother Earth, everything material, essentially. So being grateful for what we have, focusing on what on what we have in life and uh, connecting to our senses, that good meal, the aromatherapy, these kinds of things can be very enjoyable. But uh, yeah, gratitude really goes a long ways and helps us see that and connect to that side to life. All right, so that's the moon. Now the sun, of course, has recently shifted into Virgo. So this was the side of the lunar eclipse, which is about focusing on what we do have control over, which is essentially ourselves. So it's an excellent day as it will be for the next month plus for us to focus on our improvement, our personal development, uh, our routine, our regimens, everything that we have control over uh, in our immediate environment. And that's a great source of energy right now at the moment. There's actually a lot of potentials and possibilities right now with all of this. And we're actually learning quite a bit about this collectively with Jupiter. Um, but yeah, in order to cultivate these potentials, which we are becoming more aware of as we go into next week, uh, with the sun getting closer to Jupiter there, uh, it's seeing that, yeah, there's future possibilities, but they do require us to you know, improve things, work on things, cross those T's, dot those I's, and essentially take care of business. So in this gibbous phase, we are gonna have uh, two Earth energies, particularly in the second half of the day, so with that Virgo, it's good to take things nice and slow. And with Taurus, take things nice and slow. Of course, with Taurus, it's about connecting to Earth. And with Virgo, it's about that personal development. All right, so the aspects here today are actually quite easy. Um, a lot of it is because we do have Mercury slowing down, going direct tomorrow, which is actually quite nice. Um, and in that direct, Mercury is going to be trining up to Pluto. So it's making this a very transformational Mercury direct. So first of all, I do want to mention with things slowing down, it's a great day to reflect on things, sort of pause with things for a moment as we go into tomorrow. And a lot of it does have to do with the personal development, the routine, the work, the everyday stuff, right? It's good to sort of, you know, give some space there. Uh, but all in all, there could be some insights and maybe even some feeling like there's a uh, powerful change coming through ourselves and our perspective. So it is a great day for implementing this change and seeing where things can be transformed. But I think it's more internal right now. You know, this is about old patterns, old belief systems, old perspectives. And then as we go into uh, the second half of the week, Mercury will go direct. And then at that point, especially with that turn up to Pluto, I think it'll be great to be implementing a lot of this um, new stuff or just again, changing things um, in that everyday sphere. All right, now on a minor note, it does make it a really good day for research, using our minds very deep ways, um, expressing ourselves in very deep ways, you know, meaningfully. Um, psychological stuff can be very good with this. And all in all, again, reading, writing, sharing, communicating can be good with this trine so long as we are being flexible, 
we are trying new things and all in all just being open to change right now which is what this mercury retrograde is all about now i do want to mention that mercury is in leo so on a fundamental what we're learning about right now is that self-expression and that's really the emphasis of this whole uh, lunar cycle which was that solar eclipse in leo right at the beginning of the month so there's a lot of things still changing and transforming uh, when it comes to the self-expression but uh, it's so good to be learning about this you know being open-minded asking ourselves what it is that is close to our hearts what is it that we enjoy in life um, how can we express ourselves and what is the importance of the self-expression and again the north knows that's very new right so there's no clear-cut answer especially with mercury retrograde but an openness to learn about it I think can really go a long ways all right, and then things could certainly be moving forward for us going into the second half of the week with this self-expression once Mercury does go direct. But again, this can be very powerful, very deep mind, very good conscious uh, insight, I think, with this trine. Now, the moon is forming some nice aspects. We'll be in a grand trine with that uh, Mercury and Pluto in the very early part of the day, which is supportive. Uh, the moon will be sextiling up to Chiron, so there could be maybe a bit of rejuvenation and healing on a minor note and uh, the sun again trining up to the moon in this disseminating phase means that there's a support with the emotional side to life and our expression and again all in these earth signs it is about taking things nice and slow all right and with the sun it's the focus on how things can be improved with ourselves again the importance of personal development working on details and with the moon stopping to smell the roses you know enjoying those things in our everyday lives. All right, so I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.